Hello, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. Today is a pretty exciting day because I'm setting up this four foot tank right here. It's one of the largest tanks. I'm currently setting up in this fish room. All the other tanks are 60 centimeters or two foot long. So this is the forest tank we set up the other day and it is looking really good. The honey gourami is looking nice. The valisneria is doing really well. And today I'm taking these two tanks down, the Cryptocorin tanks. There's some planted, there's some floating around. And we're moving all of that into this four foot tank and we're putting this tank right over here. So let's take a look at some of the plants that are in here. We've got the Cryptocorin green gecko in the back. Uh, we've got some Anubias coffeefolia as well as Cryptocorin wenti brown, kind of hard to see. And then we've also got Rotala Bangladesh right there. It's looking quite nice. And we've got this crinum as well. I might be moving this crinum together into that four foot tank, so that's pretty exciting. Over here, we've got the pink flamingo crypt. I'm debating whether I should move this into the four foot tank or whether I should move it into my 60 centimeter tank with CO2. It might do better in there, but I'm not sure. We've got some cryptocorn axle roddy in the middle, and then at the back, We've got Cryptocorin Spiralis Tiger. And there's a bunch more floating at the top of these two tanks. We'll take a closer look at them later. But for now, I'm gonna get this area ready so that I can put this tank over there. All right, all good. Now I'm gonna go to the home center to get a piece of wood for this shelf right here, kind of like this. We don't need it, but I like the look of it and it also adds protection so I don't ruin this metal shelf. Here we are, this is the one. This. I love the pattern of, uh, what do you call it, the wood grain? I don't know, it just looks really nice. The price is not that bad as well, so we're taking this one. Let's go back. And I'm back, take a look at how good that looks. So I also got them to cut it for me. One cut is 30 cents, I think so. I just needed two cuts for it to fit perfectly and check that out. Now we just gotta get this tank on the shelf. This is not an easy task. One person doing this is not that easy. This is about 70 gallons, if I'm not mistaken, something like that. Whew. All right, now it's just the fine adjustments. All right, so that is how this tank is gonna sit. I'm not gonna put it in the center uh, because that's just how I like it. And yeah, now let's get these two tanks emptied and we'll start setting this tank up. First, I've gotta remove all this plastic. How do you get this thing off? Yeah, the, the plastic wrapping. This thing right here. Oops, so uh, yep, there we go. A few moments later. So I've taken out all the plants, as you can see. I've moved them down in this bucket and in those little containers. Now I'm gonna do the same process as we did over there by taking all the soil out. Hey now, honey, I've been driving around in my car Looking for some kind of open bar It's gonna be alright, gonna be alright Alright, that took forever to separate the pumice from the soil. The soil is in here. But yeah, I'm gonna reuse the soil. I know it's not a good idea because there was blue-green algae all over the soil, but I think I don't wanna waste it and I think we can kind of recover it in this tank over here. I'll try my best to keep the blue-green algae from coming back. But yeah, that, that was a pain. I'm not gonna be using pumice in this tank because if I ever have to take it apart, or change the soil, that this pumice is just too, um, I don't know, it's too troublesome. I will, however, use pumice for this tank right here, the IAPLC contest tank, so that I can get more height. I'm going to use this right here to scoop out the soil and place it in the four foot tank. Alright, so I've got all the crips prepared on this tray right here. I'll give you a closer look. 
but I'm really excited, looking forward to planting this tank up. Check out the crypts, they look so good. And I still don't know where I want to plant each individual species of crypts in this tank, but I think I'll figure it out as I go. But for now, I'm gonna fill the tank up a little bit with water and then start planting. It feels kind of weird recording this because it's been so long since that last clip you just saw. It's been almost two months since I set this tank up. It's gone through a ton of trouble, but I've got it. I've got the situation fixed now. The thing that really sucks is that two days after planting, almost all the crypts started melting and I just didn't know how to make a video about that. It just really, really sucked. Right here though, this is Cryptocorin Lucens and it's doing pretty well. The leaves are much harder than all the other crypts, so I think that's why it's a little bit stronger. So this one is doing all right. But behind it, I planted some Cryptocorin Green Gecko and you can see it's all gone. So I'm just gonna leave those remains in there and see if it'll pop back out in the future. Uh, over here, Cryptocorn went to brown. Uh, very, very bad. A lot of it melted. You can see some are still alive, so that's good. I'm just gonna leave everything in here for now. This one piece I bought from a fish store. Uh, this is also, I think, a Wenty brown. I'm not too sure, but I'll just leave that in there and see how it does. Right there, that is Cryptocorn Spiralis Tiger, and that also melted, as you can see, uh, but yeah, I don't know what to say, like almost everything melted. Over here, all the plants melted, so that really sucks. This though, this is Anubias coffeefolia, my favorite Anubias, and this plant has been doing really well. Look how clean it is, and look, right in the center, there's a new leaf, that light green color leaf. That's a new leaf coming, so I'm really happy about that. And the Crinum calamistratum, this long plant right here is doing Okay, not too bad. And then right here, this is a Cryptocorn Wenty Green that I also bought from a fish store. And I wasn't able to film there, but you can see this one is looking pretty nice. And around it, I also planted a bunch of the Cryptocorn Wenty Green that I had, but you can see, like, there's none left. So, that really sucks. And then over here, my favorite plant that I planted in, Cryptocorn Wenty Tropica, also all gone. You can kind of see some new leaves popping out, so it should still be all right. I'm just gonna leave everything I planted in here and see if it'll come back out in the future. So it stinks that almost every single one of my crypts melted, and I think the reason why is because of the temperature and stressing them out. Crypts don't like to be moved in the first place, and also the temperature during that time I planted them was getting so low the water was really cold to the touch and I didn't have any heaters. That's one of the reasons why I wanted to move them all into one tank because in the past, you guys remembered, I had four tanks up here stacked together and I just didn't want to do that anymore. I wasn't thinking about the future. When it gets cold, I need heaters in every single one of the tanks and I just don't want to be buying so many heaters and I can't heat this room up right now as well. So that's kind of one of the reasons why I went with a big tank. So I just need one heater. So hopefully everything works out from here. It should be okay. It might take a while for everything to bounce back, but I think we'll get it sorted out. Also adding on to all the plants melting, I had a huge blue-green algae problem. The tank was covered in blue-green algae and that also upset me quite a bit, but I managed to get it fixed. Um, I just put some fish in here, put some food, everything started to slowly balance out. I put some of this. I have no idea what this is. This is Oxidol. It's, it's like a, something you put on an infected wound. If you cut yourself, you put some of this and it heals faster. I'm not sure, this was just recommended. I watched some Japanese YouTube videos and they said put this in your tank if you have blue-green algae and it'll solve it. And it really worked. I just put a little bit of this. It doesn't affect the fish or the plants and like the next day, almost all the blue-green algae was gone. So I'm really happy about that. You can see the tank is looking nice. We just need more plants in here. So I've got a bunch of fish in here. These are my ember tetras from my 60 centimeter planted aquarium and I've just temporarily moved them into this tank and they're looking really, really good. Uh, hard to focus on them. And I've also got some Asian Rominose rasboras. You can see this guy right here is beautiful 
and he still needs to color up a little bit but they're kind of stressed i moved them in just yesterday into this tank they used to be in a tank that was over here but i want to put a rack up here so i've cleaned this section out and hopefully we'll get more tanks over here i'm excited for what's to come with this tank i know it doesn't look that good right now but i kind of have a plan for how i want it to look so i'm really excited about that i hope you guys are too right now everything is looking a little bit messy here and the tanks up here have changed a little bit you can see over here there's my cardinal tetras and the honey guramis all doing well they're looking really beautiful this tank is looking amazing and then in the tank beside we have some mystery fish i accidentally purchased something that will be coming to another video you guys will see what's in there right now i don't know if you guys can see but there's there's some fish in there i want to give a quick update on this tank right here the 60 centimeter tank i planted in the monte carlo about one and a half weeks ago you can see it's been carpeting uh it's grown quite a little bit so i'm happy about that but the tank is looking messy there's so much algae on the glass so i've got to do maintenance on this tank later but look at all that algae so i've got to clean that there's some random plants in here uh this will be for another project and up here as well this plant do you guys know what this is that is hydrophila polysperma in its immersed form so i'm going to be using that for a project that i'm working on right now but yeah that is this tank right here and look at this it's growing so tall the hydrophila pinnatifida Look how tall this thing is growing. Like, what on earth? As always, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll probably be getting more plants for this tank if I can find them. I don't want to be getting tissue culture plants for this tank because I just find that tissue culture crypts grow so slow. Maybe I gotta try the Tropica brand crypts. Maybe they'll do better because I've been using the ADA ones and they take forever to grow in a non-CO2 environment, so I don't know what's wrong. But, if I can, I want to find those potted plants kind of like this Cryptocorn Wenty Green right here that comes in at a good size because I just feel that those plants do much better. Also, the Cryptocorn Pink Flamingo sadly has melted, so it's somewhere in here. Hopefully, someday in the future, it'll pop back out. I really, really hope that it comes back because I really like that plant and it's not an easy plant to find here, so let's hope it comes back. Like Squad, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and I will see you guys next time.